Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So here we're going to try and figure out the volume of integration for this particular problem here. So what we're trying to do exactly. So the question tells us that the finite region S, the shaded region here, is, is bounded by the y-axis and the x-axis. And the line of equation x equals the natural log of 4. And the curve of this given equation, which is the exponential equation plus 2 to e to negative x. So what do we do here? So here they want us to rotate the rotate S through two pi radians about the x-axis. So what this means visually is like this. So you want to try and um, make a mirror view of this S um, shaded region so it looks a bit like this. And then just make a 3D image. So that's exactly what we're doing. And then we're trying to find this entire volume. So you think about this as a, a volume of two pi exactly. Because you're rotating two pi so that's 360 degrees. An actual volume is given by the equation up here, which is V equals pi times the integral from A to B from the limits, so 0 to log 4, at Y squared. Now, and that's it. That's all you want to do. So if you recognize this formula and it says rotate about X axis, you're going to be using this. So what do we do? So replace Y squared with the equation. So if Y equals E to the power X here, Y squared will just be, well, the same equation squared. So just copy it out and now we'll just... Open, expand like you do for quadratic problems. So if you were to do this using a double bracket method, this one will simplify to here. So let me write it down. So we can say the volume is pi times the integral from 0 to log 4. So that's x. So that's the values of x. And what do we have? So let's expand this y squared. So y squared is going to be e to the power x times e to the power x. So that's e to the power 2x. Then you've got e to the power x times 2 e to the power negative x. So e Ex, negative ex cancel out, so you left 1, and you're going to do it twice, so 2 plus 2, you're going to get 4. And lastly, you're going to have 2 e to negative x times 2 e to negative x, which is going to be plus 4 e to negative 2x times dx. That's it. So I believe that should be the correct expansion. I mean, guys, just double check. And just to make sure about this number 4, this was from doing e to the power x times 2 e to negative x. If you notice the powers, they cancel out, you get x take away x, so you just get 2. And you do it twice again, which will give you another 2, so the total is 4. Okay, so that's, that's how I got 4. Okay, so now here comes the easy part. So therefore, the volume is going to equal the integral. So just integrating this now, which is I think is easy. So e to the 2x is just going to be e to the 2x over 2, simple integral. 4 becomes 4x. And e to negative 2x will drop negative 2 down, so you have minus 2e negative 2x. Okay, and this is all do -do -do from 0 to log 4. Alright, so that's the basics done. So now you just have to start plugging in values. Okay, so let's let's have a go. And we need to do this, oh god, in find the exact value. So let's see. So I'm gonna put the first one in. So Let's see if we can summarize this. Can we? No, we can. So we've got pi times. So let's see. Log 4. How do you put log 4? So you can have e to the 2 times log 4. So that's 2 log 4. So, ah, over 2. So you can see you can have to do some little algebra. So because you've got 2 log 4, you can just replace the 2 as a power. So it'll be 4 to the power 2. And then the e to the logs will cancel out. So do 2. So let me write that down now. So 4 squared over 2. 4 squared is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Okay, now for the second part. So you've got 4 times the log of 4. Well, I'll just keep it as it is. So plus 4 ln 4. And next one, you've got 2 e to negative 2x. So replacing x with log 4. I've already done it in my calculator and i got minus 1 over 8. So you can, if you can put the whole thing in, it'll automatically simplify now just tidying this up before we move to the next one, we've got 8 take away 1 over 8. So that should give us, bear with me guys, 63 over 8. So yeah, let me just simplify that. So 63 over 8. So do 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 over 8. Okay, so that's that's the first part done. So minus now, replace everything with 0. So you've got e to the power 0, which is 1, so it'll be half here. And e to the power 0 here would be just 1, so it'll be just 2. And put a 0 here, you're going to get 0. So it'd be half plus 0 minus 2. So I, I can write down. So half plus 0 minus 2. And then let's just have, have a go simplifying this. So you've got half take away 2, it will give us negative 3 over 2. And then 
minus minus that will give us a positive three over two. So let's let's combine that. So 0.5 minus two. So plusing it, so it'll be 63 over eight. So let me put, let me put the negative three over two guys. So just tidying all of this inside. So we have pi times, so we've got 63 over eight plus three over two. So 0.5 plus 63 over 8. Usually I record my answers, but I'm doing this all first, all, all in a row. So I'll go 75 over 8. So that's going to be your final result here. So all of this becomes 75 over 8. And I think that's it, you know. I think I think we could pretty much live like this.